Hey Stranger Things fans, welcome to Found Flicks. Season 2 is officially in production and currently filming. And now we have more information on who is playing the new characters and a few other tidbits from interviews, like already teasing a potential Season 3. I know! But first, have you ever wanted an app entirely devoted to the Stranger Things fan community? Well, you're in luck thanks to the brand new Stranger Things Amino app. Basically, it's a social network based entirely around a specific show, in this case, Stranger Things. What's really interesting is that as your blogs get more likes and comments and you get more involved in the community, you gain reputation points. As you earn more points, you gain levels in the app. The way the app is laid out, you've got the front page where you see recent featured and top rated posts, public chats to have discussions with other users, and a following feed to see posts from other users you follow. There are great posts going up all the time, and I just love fan art. Naturally, our little Jedi 11 gets a ton of love, but I really like this drawing of Will by user Mike. I also really like a post about a fan-created Atari-style game based on the show, but I think my favorite kinds of posts are called challenges. Right now, there's one called the Psychic Challenge, where user 011 invites you to make up a whole new character for the show and give them psychic abilities like 11. Oh, and make sure to follow me on there. My username is Nancy and Jonathan forever. Just kidding, it's Foundflix. There's a link in the description below to try it out now. Now onto the main event, fresh news for season two. Right now, production has officially begun. Filming started on November 7th and is continuing right now. I mentioned some specifics in a previous video, but here's a quick rundown of the basics. Season two will be a sequel to the first, set one year later, and featuring all of the original beloved residents of Hawkins. And for anyone wondering if Eleven will be back, it has now been officially confirmed that that Eleven will return. We still don't know yet in what capacity, and it could possibly be mostly in flashbacks showing us events from the time gap between seasons. But she will be back. Worry no more, Eleven fans. Now, season two doesn't have an official release date, but will likely be out in late summer or fall, and will be nine episodes, one longer than season one. In the recently released teaser trailer, there were several words and phrases seen. I found out that these were entirely the Duffer Brothers' idea, certainly designed to make us speculate until our minds explode about their meaning. They did confirm these are intended to be the episode or chapter titles for next season, but also did admit that these titles could change down the line. Others and myself have considered that the specific title, The Secret Cabin, could refer to Elle's hiding place since dispatching the Demogorgon and might feature our first appearance of her in the present story. I was also glad to hear that producer Sean Levy, who directed episodes three and four last season, will do the same this year, with the Duffer Brothers directing episodes one and two at least, also like last season. So the first four are going to kick off exactly the same as last time. I'm going to start prepping right around Thanksgiving, and I'll be filming my episodes through December and January. They describe this move as being superstitious, but I can't blame them for not wanting to shake up what worked before. Also, it sounds like the overall dramatic flow will be quite different from season one, which kicks things immediately into high gear with the disappearance of Will. This time it will be more of a slow burn, as our characters try to return to some kind of normalcy after Will's return from the Upside Down. Season two is about this determined desire to return to normalcy in Hawkins, in the Byers family, in that group of friends, and it's the struggle to reclaim normalcy and maybe the impossibility of it. Again, so it seems they try to go back to the more innocent times we briefly glimpsed in the first episode, but it's clear that the damage has been done and there is no way to avoid what happened in season one. It will bubble back up to the surface and consume everyone again, no matter how much they try to avoid it. Levy also says that the core cast will remain the focus of the show, and both original cast players Joe Carey Steve and Noah Schnapp's Will Byers have both been upgraded to series regulars for season two. But there will be a few new key players that will shake up the dynamics of each age group. We had a breakdown of the characters before, but now all of the four characters detailed in that breakdown have been cast as well as two more new characters. First, we've got Sadie Sink, who will be playing the tomboy character Max, a tough and confident girl whose appearance, behavior, and pursuits seem more typical of boys than girls of this era. She has a complicated history and is generally suspicious of those around her. She's probably right to be suspicious of everyone in Hawkins, and I think she'll be in the boys' class next season, and they're getting right to that hormone-dominated age. I feel like Max's introduction will cause a rift of some kind between the boys when one of them, or maybe even all of them, end up liking her. But I really want Dustin to have a girlfriend for some reason, so that's the direction I hope that goes. Then we have her older brother Billy, played by Dacra Montgomery, who I'm saying that name wrong, I'm sure, who is also portraying the Red Ranger in the upcoming Power Rangers reboot. Billy sounds like a prototypical 80s jock character who steals girlfriends away from their boyfriends, is great at drinking games, and drives a black Camaro. But lurking under his apparent charisma is a violent and unpredictable nature. Just like Steve, who is the classic 80s movie jerk, Billy is an archetype of a character, the jock. 
but knowing the Duffers, they'll turn this concept on its head and reveal that Billy is more than just a beer-swilling, Camaro-driving a-hole, just like Steve, who in the end of season one, proves himself a good person by coming back to help Nancy and Jonathan with the monster. I also really think that Nancy will end up dating Billy, or at least cause her and Steve some relationship drama, since it even says in the breakdown he steals girlfriends away. Then there's Roman, played by Danish actress Linnea Berthelsen. She's an emotionally damaged, magnetic young woman who suffered a great loss as a child. Although she does not live in Hawkins, she is mysteriously connected to the supernatural events at the lab. I have a feeling that Roman is one of the test subjects before Eleven, who fled Hawkins after having experiments done on her, and possibly also has similar powers to Eleven. She might be drawn back into the past after the events of Season 1, possibly being tracked down by Hopper or Will to find out more about Hawkins' energy and figure out a way to bring Eleven back. And finally, of those featured on the breakdown, we have Dr. Owens, who would be played by Paul Reiser. Owens is a high-ranking member within the Department of Energy on a cleanup assignment tasked with containing the events of last year. This is a really interesting casting choice by the Duffers because Reiser played a corporate bad guy working for Wayland yutani in Aliens, and the Duffers have said that Season 2 is more inspired by movie sequels rather than TV seasons. They also specifically mention James Cameron and Aliens as inspiration for how to do a sequel right, and it's really cool to see them choose Riser for the character. I'm sure he will be the big bad government villain for season two, replacing Matthew Modine's missing Brenner. It's also amusing to note that Matthew Modine and Paul Riser shared the screen together in the goofy comedy Bye Bye Love in the 90s. Hopefully Modine and Riser will share the screen at some point in season two, so we can finally get the reunion we've all been waiting for. Bye bye love fans, unite! Now onto two brand new characters that have only recently been revealed. There's Bob Newby, a kind-hearted former nerd who went to high school with Joyce and Hopper and now manages the local Hawkins Radio Shack. And it's Sean Astin, aka Mikey from the Goonies, who will be playing Bob. This is a really cool connection to the Goonies, which is obviously a huge inspiration for the show. I also just love that they're introducing Radio Shack into the show. It was such a staple for kids in the 80s. I wonder if the kids will try to make an extremely powerful radio to be able to communicate with 11 in the Upside Down or wherever she is, similar to using the school's radio as seen in Season 1. But without 11 around, they're going to need a lot of power to make it work. And finally, there's the addition of Brett Gelman, who will be playing Murray Bauman, a disgraced journalist turned conspiracy theorist who is investigating a cold case in Hawkins. Brett is known for his work on Adult Swim, and he has a really specific weird energy that I like a lot, and think it will fit really well into the quirky feel of the show. If you're not familiar with Brett, check out the Adult Swim show Eagleheart. It's hilarious and completely insane. And to me, it sounds like the cold case they're referencing would be MK Ultra, the original group behind Hawkins. I'm sure Murray will have a big part in delving further into the history of the shadowy government organization. Perhaps he is brought to Indiana by that article seen on the board in the season finale at the police station where Joyce and Terry Ives both spoke to a journalist and bluntly spilled the beans about what happened to them respectively. Well, it sure sounds like the city of Hawkins is going to be a lot bigger next season, and I'm really interested to see the brand new dynamics these characters will introduce to the show. And one last quote regarding season three. We're not going to be caught off guard and we don't want to be making up stuff like the day before we have to write it and make it, so we are definitely optimistic mystic and we have started thinking ahead. So of course nothing official yet for season three and I'm sure most of their focus is on season two right now but I'm glad to hear that they are already thinking about the future of the show. This also probably means season two will end with another gut punch of a cliffhanger to leave us with a bunch of questions for another year. Damn you duffers! But I love you for it. I'm confident in them and their artistic direction for the show and really interested to see how they continue to develop the world they've created in next season and into fingers crossed upcoming seasons as well. All right, guys, that's your Stranger Things season two update for now. But don't worry, I'll have a lot more videos coming out about the show. So make sure to subscribe now so you don't miss them. What are you guys most looking forward to in season two? And which new character sounds the most interesting? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching Found Flicks. See you next time.